Photos released by North Korea's state-run media reportedly show a test that took place over the weekend of a new long-range cruise missile. It's said to have flown 1,500 kilometres and hit targets in North Korea's territorial waters. Described as a strategic weapon, it's far less provocative than the ballistic missiles North Korea's tested in the past and isn't subject to UN sanctions, but seems intended as a reminder from North Korea of its military strength, and it's enough to make its neighbours worry. If it's true that North Korea fired a missile with a range of 1,500 kilometres, it's threatening the peace and safety of Japan and its surrounding region. We are highly concerned about this. There was a question about whether we were notified by the North Korean military about the missile launch. I will answer the question by saying that, as you know, the South-North military communication hotline is not working. There's been gridlock since 2019 over talks aimed at dismantling North Korea's nuclear and ballistic weapons program in return for US sanctions relief. But some political analysts say North Korea isn't a priority for the Biden administration. So negotiating with North Korea has been very, very tricky for the United States and South Korea for several decades. And, you know, if you're Biden, you're looking at COVID and Afghanistan and all these other issues. And I think the Biden people just don't see North Korea as really a sort of a pressing issue. And so it's further back in the chain. Kim Jong-un admitted two months ago that North Korea is suffering from the worst food shortage in a decade, a situation compounded by existing UN sanctions and its self-imposed border closure due to COVID-19. And so this weekend's show of strength may have been partly for domestic consumption. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.